Hey folks, welcome back to Forever Skies. I'm just looking at this beast of a platform we're about to go explore. And I don't think I can get a good shot of the, maybe from here, yeah, of our airship. So we've extended one out the front, one out the back. Looks pretty good. I was wondering if it was possible to put, with that ladder room, another floor in between the first floor and the balloon and right here it doesn't look like it but I'm not convinced that that's accurate if I you know, I can't get up high enough if we could get up to the top of that that first floor the perspective might change I have a feeling if you can see my little reticule this whole area here is actually flat there might be three meters in there I'm not sure so I'll be curious to see if it's possible to do that but I was focusing on this because Mrs. Rambler sent me a uh, an interesting photo a little while ago of a she said if you get me an RV like this I'll go camping <laughs> first thing I thought of was forever skies <laughs> anyway let's get back to uh, back to this oh I discovered something this guy has been bugged out I can't pick it up because it says that we it needs to be emptied. <clears throat> There's water in it. You can't get the ability to take the dirty water out because I accidentally put this on top of it and now I can't interact. But I found out something. From this side, you can. There apparently is a front. I didn't know that. So let's grab that. You work now. So QU and turn you around and put you back right there so place so now we've got that guy over there you over here and you just got emptied right i think i did that just before we got here so let's um cue you there we are and drop you in there uh rotate how do you rotate these guys toggle snapping and then R's rotate. See, it rotates in quarters. Well, do I have to hold it? No. How do you make it just, just uh, slowly move around in a, in a in a circle? I don't know. I've seen others just you know rotate something very gradually so they can set it exactly where they want it. And I never figured out how to do that. Anyway, hydrogen hydration hydrogen level is decreasing. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> um, I still have a little bit of water in there, so let's grab that. Uh, food is also dropping. We've got this guy in here, boiled fat one, so we need our food to go down a lot more to take full advantage of that. But we can drop him in here and take him with us. And these bottles here, I just made four more bottles. I already know kind of what we're heading into for this one I've seen other people play it so I know that we want to bring with us some extra bottles uh, swap you out again because there is a new chemical that we have access to in there in barrels and we're gonna be able to use those that I believe to make polymers later so I want to bring some of that back with us and probably could use more than now let's, let's make uh, let's do that one more time what was that that was storage that was a storage unit to store these things in but let's make two more let's bring six with us All right. I need more of you okay so we are just about out of our synthetics so enough to fill a, a storage case so we'll bring six bottles all right, so food we'll eat on the way. Printing completed. And let's leave these behind. I want to, as much space available as possible. You two, and let's leave you behind. Um, you two, we're gonna eat you, and that is it. And keep the first aid with us. It'd be wise to have a battery with us, I'm sure, but we don't have any batteries. Yeah, we're not going to pull a battery out of this one either. So, we're going to have to hit a few more of the uh, the single orange um, anything around here? No. Interesting. Where are we at? 
that's not a radar. So a single orange. We gotta get all the way back into there. So you are... I, no, you're not a wind farm. What are you? Are you just the single light tower but with a plant? You know, the big overgrown ones? I'm not sure. We may head back in this direction and get a few batteries off of these guys, the simple ones, so we can we can strip them of the batteries. Anyway, I think we need to get moving on this. Nothing else that's super important. Um, tell you what, well, I guess I was going to get rid of the dirty. I did already. Okay, good. So we have as many barrel or bu uh, containers as we can bottles that's the word I was looking for as we can get is my I seem to be going awfully fast my shift no that's just normal it just goes up the stairs quickly this guy here is a never-ending source of bottled dirty water so we could grab 10 out of there if we wanted to um, Otherwise, I know there is a danger in here, and we don't have a weapon. So, so maybe we'll get to where we can see him, so you guys who've never played this before can uh, get a sense of, of what I'm talking about. Otherwise, we should have access to some new materials in here. There is some right there. One, and we'll scan you. You are, what, epoxy? Epoxy. Rare resource for advanced crafting usually found in greenhouse towers. You are an oil barrel full of bottle plant oil. Okay, plant oil. So this is what I'm talking about for the six empty uh, bottles. So 30 is what we can handle. Three per. Okay. And that's the only one in here. Okay. So what else we have? More. There's polymer. We've been needing that to make our knife. There's epoxy. You have a data card. A basic chair. There is a new workstation coming up. We haven't come across it yet. That will... Sweet. What else can I look at here? That will let us build furniture. So that is going to be a thing for us here real soon. There we go, grab this guy. And are we kind of done in this room? Anything above? You don't have a battery, do you? Boy, I wish. Okay, concrete up there. A lot of concrete and fertilizer and gardeny kind of things around here. Don't know what this guy is. That it would end in this. Maybe just a big water collector up on the roof. That yeah, could be. So we need to get in here and grab all the metals and glass out of this place. Um, you. That's what I'm talking about. A wrecked upgrade station. Used to create device upgrades, improves functionality and efficiency. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> Bunch of big words. Okay, the knife will get us into here. You know, we're close enough... Maybe it's it would be wise just to go back right now and go get it. It's just right down here. Let's go make a knife. Woohoohoo! Yeah. Those of you that get a little uh, you know, height issues, that wasn't a good scene. So this is a good looking ship so far. I don't know if we're going to go triple decker on it, but... Okay, so let's research you, knife. We needed the polymer to finish the research. Since the research is mostly done, I wonder how long it's going to take. Hopefully it's pretty quick. And you should pop into tools. And we need plastic scraps and metals. Okay. Um, plastic... And right there, metals. And let's make a knife. Great. Okay, put you back and... Hmm, that was the plastic. Good, we all fit, we fit into one stack now. Put the metals back. Over here where we've got the helium and copper. Yeah, we're going to need a case just for polymers and for epoxies. But for now we'll do that. 
Time to eat you. I think it's time to eat you. And now we'll finish that other barrel or bottle up. Do we have water? We do. Grab you and drink two of you. You are clean water. Drop you over there. Oh, that's clean as well. Okay, one, two. So we can empty that one if we have to. In fact, we'll do that on our way out and fill that full of dirty water. Okay, so we didn't get the knife, did we? Too much talking. There we go. We have a knife in three. And I'm used to scanner and those three in there. So I think I'll keep you in three. Yeah, okay. And don't need to keep it out. That's a little disconcerting there, running around with a knife in your hand. What could possibly go wrong, right? Let's swing up through here. And hack away at this. What was it telling me that I could hit with a scanner? Nothing. Oh, that's where we're going. Right here. Okay. So three. Now this takes a lot of stamina. Unless you've got a lot of sleep. Good. Flashlight. Uh, there we are. So a lot more epoxy. No critters in here. Good. And unfortunately, a lot of things that look good, but we don't have access to. Alright, so actually, can I dive into you? No. Okay. Um, keep you out in case there's anything else that I can scan. There are other plants in here. And a lot of the plants in this game have other uses. So they're they're actually building materials in a sense. If I go down you, do you access anything besides that platform? Anything else down there besides the platform? I can't tell if you... I don't think there's any other materials down there. Yeah, it's just you. Okay, so I won't go down that trip. So this is our next route. So we've been in there. We've been in there, and that was just a single room. Thought it was going to go somewhere. All right. Looking around. A lot of structure above us. A lot of pipes. Interesting. You just kind of end there. <laughs> All right. Open you up. No critters. Starting to uh, get into a little more of a protective mode as I'm moving around. There's actually wildlife in the game now and some of it doesn't like you. It's a good thing the epoxy stacks fives because there is a lot of it. I don't know how much of it's going to be used. Any reason to jump out there? There is a way back out. I could go in. Yeah, I could. Looks like it wants you to. So, no, it doesn't really want you to. Okay, so that's not a thing. You? No. Oh, it wants you to get stuck. Okay, that's not going to happen. So, wandering the rest of this floor. Oh, we've been in there? This is the second floor, so we've been in there. Okay, never mind. So, that one's done. Going up again. Now... The beginning of the game talked about the scientists getting to a greenhouse place. You can hear a little noise in the background. He's above us somewhere yet, and it actually isn't that loud yet. Maybe you guys can't hear it yet. Okay, watch your step. And here's where we start finding a lot more plants. We got canola, I believe. Uh, is that the scanner? Yeah. Yeah, canola, flower. We've already seen. That's an ink bulb. That's not the same thing as that other one. Uh, fruit with thick can be possibly used as a source of paint, whereas you eating raw is not advisable. Okay. Uh, wrong. That wasn't WASD. You're an ink bulb? Uh, you're a patat. So, can I... Yep, I can. So, you vegetable use in many dishes. So, is that another way of saying patato? I don't know. <laughs> Ladder going up. 
and more concrete. Um, I know these things all rot. So not long after you pick them, so I'm not going to do anything yet. And that rain worries me. How uh, quickly, quickly before we are in the middle of a lightning storm. That's one thing about this game. I think we're a little too heavy on lightning storms. Happens too often. Um, can't get through. These guys act as solid walls, unfortunately. So it doesn't really let you move through them. Getting up here. Okay. Boy, the wind's blowing them. That's kind of a nice feature. Alright, so no real way out of here. Like that. Can I drop down there? Yeah. Okay. So that is that room. Do we come in this way? That must be how we came in. Okay. So we've seen this floor. No, we haven't. You are... Seeds and seedlings. The monoculture of our garden, in the long run, lowers the chances of survival of the very garden itself. This is a, sh a short-sighted approach. We need species that will survive drought or frost or any other hell that comes upon us. Um, for once, let's not make the mistakes made by our ancestors. Okay, I'm not real sure what's going on there. Um, just a note, okay? Nothing here I can interact with. Yeah. Alright. What's next? Oh! Okay, found Critter. He's right there to meet us. He is a... Lulling Grass Cricket. Its venom has a dangerously stimulating effect on the human neural pathways. We are not going up there right now, though that's where we need to go, I think. Yeah. There's a wire right there. There's a computer up here somewhere we need to deal with. Well, <clears throat> I may have to just take him out this way. There is a crossbow that allows us to take him out long distance. He's going to come at us and bite us. And the antidote is here too, so I guess we give this a try. Alright, so that is about a third of our stamina. He's got quite a shriek to him. That didn't work. I got him. I got him and he got me. Yeah. So we've got the vertigo virus. Uh, hold tab to see more. So to-do list. Update. Data. Vertigo. Auditory and visual hallucinations. Immune system is compromised due to focus on ridding the body of toxins. Um, we need potassium. Uh, cure for the virus to fill the medicine list. Lulling grass cricket is the cause. Okay. The right next to him, the patat, actually turns out to be the antidote. We could wait and cook that down in, at the uh, airship. Or we can just swallow it right now. We got a little bit of a hit on the... Uh, uh, on our health, but it cured the virus. Virus was neutralized over there on the left. Okay, so put you away, and let's take you. We will cook you up later. Um, no guarantee that was the only one, but I did want to see some other things in here. You're new. One. What are, no, you're a bruise flower. Okay, so a bruise flower and a, what were they called? Lobster chili. Which might be in here yet. Uh, put those two together and you get a first aid kit. Put the um, sun melon with a few other things and you get the more advanced lure. So the plants all have other uses around here. Um, this is where... Oh! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I felt that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it just reminded me of something that Mike Rowe talked about on one of his uh, <laughs> one of his podcasts once. 
Let's see if I can talk and, and explore. Probably can't do both effectively. But he was talking about, he's the one that did uh, the show Dirty Jobs. And he was talking about working on a bridge for one of those episodes. And so this is where we need to go. And he said, well, we got find an overgrown greenhouse over there on the left. Make your way through a doorway blocked by vines. Okay. He said that they were, I don't know, painting it or something like that. And, and they were talking about um, how they changed the light bulbs. That they go out on these wires. <sighs> Immunity, okay. And it was you know, quite, quite a trip. And he figured, well, his producers would never let him put himself in danger so he could suggest this and not worry about it. And he says, wouldn't it be cool if I went way out there in those guy wires and changed those light bulbs? And uh, his, to his surprise, his producer said, yeah, it would be. And he thought, oh, great, I'm committed now. And so he said it was like oh, a, a wire that you stand on and another one at chest height you hold on to. And then you're clipped to the one at chest height, and you work your way out this this bridge. Uh, Bruce Flower, nothing here that needs to be... Uh, nothing here needs to be scanned. Doesn't look like it. I see we need a battery, though. That's the problem. We need what's on this computer. A storm is coming. A storm is coming, of course. So, let's see, where was that hole in the floor? Over there, where's the down? Where's the down? Um, where's the down that isn't falling down? This storm's gonna nail us. I can't find my way out of here. That's an up. There's a down. And so he ends up out on this wire. There's another down. There it is. And he at first of course it was kind of scary being way out there over the water on this I, I think it was the Golden Gate Bridge right it was a bridge of that that kind of size and he eventually gets kind of used to it and gets comfortable with it every every so many feet you hit this other wire vertical wire that connects them all together and you have to disconnect yourself and put your I don't know what that is called not your lanyard but your, your you in the air. Yeah, talking and telling a story never oh, works well for me. But let's spin out here and drop. Um, so disconnect, go, move across, reconnect, go to the next light bulb, disconnect, reconnect, next light bulb. And eventually he got to where he was real comfortable with it. And wasn't so scared. You you know you get used to something like that. And oops, I want that up. Where is it? There's the up. I always hit the caps lock when I'm panicked trying to go up. And um, so because I used to uh, wash windows on a big man lift, four stories in the air. It was always spooky the first time you uh, you uh, get up in there, but half a day into the job you're so used to it you just swing that thing around and wash your windows so i understood what he meant by after a while you just get real comfortable with it. i'm gonna sit in here so it's not so noisy enjoying project oxygen and one time he you know, getting to the the point of the whole story sorry it took 10 minutes was he got to a point where he looked down and realized that last connection point he forgot to reclip he's just standing there 300 feet over the water holding on with no safeties at all. And he said, well, you know, the moment that I realized that, I wasn't in any more danger than, you know, one second before I realized that, but still, you could hear that sphincter slam shut five miles away. <laughs> when he said that, I laughed so hard <laughs> imagining it. But, um, yeah, that was me falling through that hole, thinking that I was going all the way down there. <laughs> anyway, that killed some time waiting for the storm to get done. All right, we need some, probably a, could use a food. Uh, pop you open and throw you out there. 
Um, while you're out there, let's unload some things. So you get... I didn't get any more of those. Okay. Actually, I expected to find a lot more than that than I did. So all of these greenhouse structures have uh, uh, different, d different designs, different amounts of various things. Uh, you can take some more polymers. Um, I'd like to get this guy going. I needed the polymers to to research it. That's right. So you, the crossbow, gets you going. Get ourselves a bug. So apparently the better lure brings in better catch or better prey. So maybe there are small animals or something. Oh, we apparently finished off the crossbow. Okay, grab you and let's send one more down. No lure. Okay, let's not send one more down. Send you... Oh, we have rotten food. It's set here and didn't cook. I can cook you again. Let's experiment. And we need to cook you. Ooh. One day, 17 hours. And 23 hours. You are... It's past its shelf life. Consumption not recommended. Let's boil it again. Let's see what happens. Okay. You probably take more polymer than we have because we had to use polymer to do the research. So we're not going to get that this time. The storm's over? I think the storm's over. Alright, so... Jump into you. I'm not sure where we are. I think I can go straight up. Let's keep spinning till I can find... That's our structure? Um... Boom. We hit something. Back down. That's not our structure. Okay, keep spinning. Uh, down. Spin is A. There we go. You are the one off in the distance. I think you are the structure. I just got underneath you. Okay. Now we'll head up. So there's overcooked meal. So let's see. Let's see. Where was I? 268 is where I was. Should be no more lightning storms for a while. So we can sit here for a little bit. Back down to 268. Yeah, I love this glass floor. And tap. Perfect. When the sun's out, at least. Okay. Are you edible? Oh, okay, I picked it up. You are overcooked. We still get 15 food out of it by recooking an overcooked one. It's not much, but we'll go ahead and take it. Now let's get Lolling Grass Cricket into there. And see what he turns into. Oh, I didn't check that out. I can't get back in how much food he was before, but he should be meat. We should get something pretty important out of that. You are fuel. Let's take a look at that. Where are we fuel-wise? We actually could use a little bit more. Okay. Synthetics are here. Don't have any. Okay. Um, there you are. Let's grab some. What does it look like around here? It doesn't look like anything. Okay. It's flowing below us. Hello. Yeah, they're down there. We're too high. Okay. So I don't want this to overcook, so we're going to hang around. Can we with... F no, we can't even make a lure. I think it takes five. Okay. So we're not eating for a while. Well, we're not getting new stuff for a while. We have boiled a lulling grass cricket, which means what? Dust moth. Okay, there we go. 50 food and 30 energy. And food-wise, we don't need that yet. But we'll hang on to that. Let's dump the epoxies. I see I've got this guy to... Mm, I'll set him in there. We still have 20 hours left. We'll cook them when we get back. Okay, so epoxies, they were dropping into this one. They're right there. And copper's there. Polymers will drop back in there too. More epoxies? Nope. So coppers need to go somewhere else. This is epoxy and polymer kind of are a, a set. The helium and copper should be another set. There <clears throat> is eventually a some kind of a storage rack that allows you to stack boxes vertically. 
and I believe there are bigger boxes in the game later too. So we're still seeing just the, you know, the 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 basic, the the primary versions of things. We haven't uh, really gotten deep into the game yet. There's still a long way to go. There's a lot in this game, even though it's just early access. Oh, I'm running. Didn't mean to. Hmm. Guess I do that just without thinking. Let's grab you, and let's grab ten dirty waters. Ten. Okay. And let's go back up, see if there's anything we missed. We need the battery still, but we kind of got chased out of there. So let's see if there was still something else. This is just greenhouse. So he was up this one. Let's make sure he didn't uh, regenerate somehow. <sighs> nope, you're not there. All right, so up in here. Oh, interesting. If you run into a glass wall, it'll cut you. Wow. Okay. I like to say cool, but, you know, yeah, it is. It's realistic. So you, I have to access from above, it looks like. And hopefully I can get back out above. You are a ladder. But up in here. So we need to put a battery in there. There's a power wire that works its way over the top. Comes back down. There's important information on this computer. We don't have a battery. If I could find some chilies, I'll grab some of those bruise flowers. But haven't seen any yet. You are nothing. Neither are you. Nor you guys. Oh, you are Bruce Flower. Okay. And I guess we could grab a few of the other ones. Um, so let's grab a Bruce Flower E. And that is also one. So we'll grab two of those. And what else is up here? The Potats. So we need to find a couple of those. We'll find a couple of Canolas. And there's a potat and a potat. Patat? Patat. P A T A T. You are a valve. Alright, so you are the canola. Right there. Okay. You're trying to wave in the wind. I'm guessing, yeah, you're a knife. Alright, so one of you. That gave me just one, and that is the biomass from the other ones, which actually turns into fuel, which is a nice addition. And I am needing some some rest. Okay, no more screamers coming out of the grass. They tend to be in the grass. So you're an ink bulb. We'll take one of you and Bruce Flower. Okay, one more ink bulb. We'll take two samples of each. Though I am out of space, I'm done. Okay, so we'll just explore a little bit more. I think there's one more height to go. Then we need to find some batteries. And then come back to here or the next one. And of course, there's the lobster chili. Okay. No real way to fix that, huh? I can't put any of those down below. Darn. Okay, well... Maybe I'll make a quick trip back up. Is it just the one? Appears to be just the one. Though there's two chilies, three chilies on it. Okay. And they probably don't stack too. Stacking plants is a problem. We should be able to stack these plants. They should lay on top of each other. So hopefully storage is one of the uh, first updates they do in the game. Alright, I need a down without falling down. We had a hard time finding this before. There you are. Okay, over here, and I also need to grab all of the materials out of this area. Uh, running with a knife, yeah, boy, I wish I could just sail out over there. Actually, no, <laughs> not unless I had practice parasailing. All right, let's drop some of these guys off. Where to? I don't know, actually. Hmm. I do have room, though I don't have any materials, to make another box. Okay. So, you are fuel. We'll use you for a 
not that one. Let's... No, you're not ready to eat yet. Okay, we'll do that. We've got six bases now. Uh, we'll wait till we're 50, so probably down and about here. So what do I need? I need sleep, and I need those chilies. Let's grab the chilies, and then we'll zap all the glass out of the place. Okay, made it up here. Started to rain on me. Alright, is there truly three of them? There's four of them. Okay. Hopefully those regenerate. Be curious to see if they do, if we do make it back to this, this same greenhouse. Alright, back down again. Okay, well so far it's not lightning, so let's take some of the, the little light that's left and grab a couple of the bruise flowers to go with these lobster chilies and oh we have to research it don't we first aid kit right there so you are a lobster chili and a and a bruise flower at least the research is that's one thing that was interesting when i researched the advanced lure um i can't see it now over here advanced lure is food yeah, it just took copper and plastic to research it, but to make it, I have to add a sun melon. So they're not always the same. So it requires fabricator, and first aid kit is over here, right? No, why did it show me this one? Transformer machine parts, I don't know. Uh, first aid. No. Food. Okay, it takes two bruise flowers you're kidding me I only brought two <laughs> yeah 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 okay drink drink and eat you boom drink you and I guess cook these guys darn well I could go for more bruise flowers I could here hold on I'll be right back Okay, it's a long trip up there. We're halfway through the night now. Hmm. Okay, so let's make that first aid kit just to see it happen. So that takes two bruise flowers and one lobster chili. And I ran out of room before I could grab a third one so that I could make two of these. So I only got one more. So we'll have to eat that one. Alright, so there's a first aid kit and he still stacks. Yeah. So what else can we research that has to do with these flowers that I'm holding on me right now? So upgrade station, you take polymers and glass. Biofuel it takes biomass, and I think it takes biomass and clear clean water to make it. The extractor takes an energy crystal, which I think is down below the the dust layer. Helium fuel takes helium. Large water bottle. Ooh. And a unique insect mass. Okay, so we need canola. So there's a use for that. Two of you. And let's get you going and see what you take to make. I may have to make another trip up there. So I need to get rid of some uh, epoxy. Yeah. Let's dump you into there, you into there. And the empty bottles into there. Put you there. We have one extra bottle that... Oh, you would have been that space. Okay. Uh, unique insect layer lure. So you require three canola and some biomass and five polymer. And did I how many polymer did I actually find? Two. I only found two. Can we make polymer? So I need a plant oil and synthetics to make polymer. Okay. Um, I can't get to the synthetics from here, though, well, I want to get that canola. I have six bases, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, let's go get six canola. Interesting, I'm getting not only canola, but I'm getting biomass at the same time. So, that's three, and we got a pile of biomass, okay, we'll get six of these, though... It's taken a while because I haven't had a good rest lately. Oh, that was a slow swing. 
Yeah, I we'll need to be at least two thirds full. There. Okay. That gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, and two clumps of biomass. And we need one more Bruce flower, and I have room for it. Okay. Bruce flowers further up. Tell you, the walk up here was a little scary. It was pitch black, and my flashlight was hardly even registering. So. I. You could barely see where I was going. Oh, there are more of them. Well, we'll leave those alone. I can't get into that one. So it's this one that has one more bruise flower. There we go. All right, we're full. Go back down. And I came from here. Trying to find the down. There you are. Now, I could have unstuck from the menu and landed back in here. I don't know if you lose anything when you do that. I wouldn't want to find out. All right, so we could insect lure. We need polymers. Oh, we need polymers. Yeah. And polymers, what did I say again? In order to do that, I need synthetics. Okay. Well, let's make the first aid kit just to get that used up. And then we don't need any more of the lobster chili, so we get one of those cooking. Uh, we're waiting to cook you, and you are four hours left, so boil you. Otherwise, lobster chili is six hours left. These guys are two days. These guys are 17 hours. Yeah, they, they all expire very quick. And I biomass doesn't, though, right? Right, good. Now, I did come across a really interesting discovery. Ten hours on these guys. And get those to where I can see them. Um, High-level items in this game. There actually later will be a refrigerator. So, this annoyance of having to race against the countdowns isn't going to be there forever. So, there is that to get... I feel like I was about to do something here. Um, I don't know, other than cooking and eating them. Or at least cooking them, so we start the timers over again. Um, your first aid kit. So we're done with first aid kits. Um, here we go. Get you going so that... That's what I was doing, I was waiting. Alright, you have five hours left. There was one that was less than four. Who? Oh, that was the moth that I just cooked, huh? Two days, nine hours. There's an eight hours. Okay, so you're the next one. You in there, and you in there. Okay. Uh, grab you, drop you. There we go. And boil. And let's get you going. And... Do I eat you? What was it just came out? Boil Moth 40. I think I will, even though I'm going to waste some, just because I need more spots in my inventory. So you are full... And soon we will get a drink of water out of... I can, I can do that now. No, I can't. I thought it would give me partial. It won't. All right, let's get up in the air. And... Uh, there. Oh, I can only go so far with the collecting, huh? Let's see. Shift goes up. Yeah. I can get up to... Oh, I can go higher than I thought. Okay, then. That means i got to actually look above me. Where am I going? I'm good. Whoa, don't go sideways. Okay, spin around and go up further. What's my cap? 290 is my cap. Okay, so let's... Oh, there's a problem with him being here. <laughs> okay, let's get you out of there. And so there's nothing more I can make. Hmm. Let's grab some... some uh, that's not what I want. You. Some of these guys. Synthetics. And see if we can make some polymers. And see if we can use that, uh, uh, canola. Okay. So, research. I need polymer. There we go. Plant oil. Do I have room? I do. Don't have much plant oil, though. So it'll be another place where we can get more plant oil. 
place that I was watching on a YouTube video had four or five of those barrels, not just the one. I was kind of surprised to see just the one, unless there were more there I didn't notice. Okay, so polymer is over here now, and uh, we can make two of them. Of course, I need five, and I already have two, so I'm not, still not going to have enough, aren't I? Hmm. How long do you take? <clears throat> Interesting. It's showing the actual polymer instead of building a cube. I guess the cube is a space holder, and this one they've actually finished. Printing completed. Inventory's full of cores, biomass. Drop you guys off. Okay, let's do another one of you. Uh, more synthetics. Nothing. Okay, come on, guys. There, closer. There you are. One more. Oh, 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 oh. Gotcha. All right, one more polymer. Mm, one more synthetic. <laughs> right there. And while I'm here, I'll grab you two as well. Okay. All right, another polymer. <clears throat> and what we're going to do with that, we're going to mix up with the canola plants. Large, helium, biomass. Okay, not you. Must be something in here. Then I need to think about this guy, upgrade station. Uh, you take five polymers. Okay. So what were we going to make in here that took polymers? Let's work our way through this. Tools? You take five polymers, but that's not it. It was... What took the canola? I'm trying to remember now. So biomass, it takes five to make this guy. Another one of these. Ah, uh, never mind. A storm is coming. Okay, grab you. I never did get to do anything as far as pulling the glass out of there, huh? Okay, we'll pull away. And then drop down to 220. And we'll watch down here make sure we're, we're clear. 220. Long way to go. Got something right there. 220. Yeah, we're not going to clear that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we got to go quite a ways away. All right, we'll head out over here. And now drop. Looking okay down there. Nothing alongside of us, behind us. 220. Feel like we're getting close. Still dropping. There we are. Okay. Away. So we have things that are about to rot if they haven't already. What needs to be cooked next? Three hours. Three hours we're going to lose some patats. Let's get one of them in there. And boil you. And ink bulb. What can we do with the ink bulb? Fruit with thick, multicolored sap can possibly be used as a source of paint. So there must be something that's not in here for that. Oh, there's other... I keep forgetting about the other options. Automated insect catcher. Takes epoxy and machine parts. Well, there's something to do right now. Let's grab some epoxy and let's put three canolas away. I have a feeling we're going to end up with a lot of rotten vegetables here. Um, machine parts. And here. Alright, let's see what you're all about. Machine parts. Oh, I grabbed something that wasn't machine parts. So not you, but you. Here we go. I will get you going. You're done. And ink bulb yeah we could cook ya what are you boiled ink bulb we did cook ya you get water and health out of it okay interesting and we're good for another day so we'll toss you in as well and boil you okay wonder if we want two cookers going on cooker <clears throat> Synthetics, of course. Uh, we've got nothing sitting in here. Just the four. 
So there's 14. What did it say it needed? We need 15. Is there any chance of finding one? Oh, there is. Okay. There you are. Boy, they're coming in quick because of the storm. Barely see them. They're going by so fast. By the time I focus on them, they're gone. Let's try the other side. <coughs> Coming out of here. I just need one. Dr. Cooker's done. <clears throat> and what else is about to spoil on us? You are 24 minutes left. So are you. Alright, so I guess that we're going to get one more of those going. The other one we'll have to throw away. Alright, let's try this one more time. Extractor. And boom. Okay. The idea was to get a second cooker going for cases like this. Ten metals. And right there. So the advanced... Oh, I can't get in there now. So you've been researched. You are the ship. <clears throat> Nothing else to do other than this guy and that's going to be real convenient need to probably between episodes to get a bunch of synthetics found uh, you dropped into space four drop you over here uh, rotate you around like that and do I have a water and drop you get it nope just toss you in there and where did that last patat go you rotted okay you guys are good for two days left. Anything left in here? Uh, biomass and canola. Okay. Well, let's cook a canola and see what happens. You are negative 10 health, plus 10 food, and minus 5 water. Boil you and see if anything comes out of you. You are that. Okay. So, we need rest. You are no good. I can boil you up and salvage you. You are going to give water and health. So let's go ahead and grab that one. And I guess we'll just do both. Nah, we'll, we'll let that sit for a little bit. Lobster chili is good for 22 hours. You're 10 food, so you're not much. So I'll just grab you. So lobster chili is not really worth eating or gathering for, for eating. Power up the computer, yeah. All right. So let's wind this episode down by immunity by going back up. Uh, let's see, shift, rotating till I can find something. Which boiled canola, multi. Yeah, let's go see what that is real quick. You are now f just 15 food. So your benefit is more industrial than than culinary. Okay, up. We are right in the stream. So keep swinging around. And we got to move this blower somehow. How are we going to do that? Unless I can aim you out the front like that. Well, kind of. Let's go a little higher. And highest is 290, right? Yeah, oh, look at that. That is the water collector up there that goes all the way down and fills that basin. Those those leaves or wings. That must be how that works. Okay, you... Yeah, I can get quite a bit out of here now. Good. I'm just going to sit here and harvest glass until I can't hold anymore. You can just hold it down and move around and when it grabs something... There's something. Okay, up above... Kind of a lazy way of doing it, but it works. Not everything. Everything enough. Oh, well, we got some down here.
Okay, I think I have got at least everything from this side. Nothing over here. Okay. Pop out of you, don't fall out. What'd that bring in? A bunch of stuff. Okay. Well, tell you what. I think I'm going to go land this thing, get some sleep, and we'll take off from here next episode, which is going to be a while from now. A few days. But i uh, got two other games to cycle through now. Otherwise, yep, yeah, it was interesting. Now we know what a garden tower looks like. And they're all different. There'll be different variants of it each time. And there's, I think there's quite a few of them to look at. I'm not hidden under the dust anytime soon. We're going to explore a number of these towers first. Let me see what's out here before we you know, go searching for the end game. So I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.